Hey friends, we here I'm back with another video. I know I've been while, away for a while, I've been dealing with some medical issues, but things are okay. It's just the facts of having lupus and being on dialysis, but I'm okay, no worries, I have it under control. But about a month ago, I did an R haul video where I showed uh, the Winston Newton oil paint kit. It's a little kit, I got it at Michael and Clarence. It had six, it has six paints in them and a little notebook. That has oil paint tips and a brush. It's a really good deal. I was surprised when I found it because it was like seven dollars from twenty five. It was on clearance. It was great, so I ended up buying two of them. So now I have never used oil paints before, so it's my first time using them. I was a little nervous about using them. Couldn't sure how to use them, so I did a little research about doing it to do this video. But once I figured it out, I really like it. I think I can get more into it. So in this video, I'm going to show you the supplies you need for what you do. Um, oil painting and the actual kit itself, and I'll do a little testing of the paint that came with it. Came with the kit, so it's gonna be good. Keep watching. Okay, so I set up a little setup here of what you, you use when oil painting. So I'm gonna go through some of the stuff and let you know what it is, and we test it out. So it's good. okay. So the first one is actually let me show you the kit the paint came in. This was actually the kit. Probably not in that video. I'll put the little the video or the link in the link below. Um, but it's the Winston Newland Oil Color Tips and Techniques Kit. It came with six paints here, and then it came with a booklet like that. It came with a little paintbrush as well. It's a really good kit. Like, I have two of them. And this was like seven dollars from like twenty five. It was on clearance. Best thing ever. So this was the kit itself. Okay, and these were the paints that came in. I put them in the little, little, little container here. Those small paints, so I definitely got two because it was only six in the kit. And I got 12, 12 in here. So they're really good paint, a little bit tiny, but it's a good amount of paint in here. And the booklet was that came with the kit, this is the booklet. The booklet is filled with tips and about color mixing for oil paints and color wheels and all the kind of tips you need to know about paint, like varnishing. We talk about that. And all things like this. That was my sample. So there's also the paper bag here as well. See, last night I was preparing for the video, so I did a little sample of the paint. That's how it looks. See, we'll get to that. But that was my sample. But in the best book is full of paper. A little paper. Thick paper. So it's just this came the kit as well. Okay, so here's the supplies you need for color painting. The first one is palette knife. This is the palette knife. It comes different sizes and shapes, small, small ones, big ones. The head is flexible, this one's somewhat flexible. These are good for mixing your paint together. So when you paint on your palette and you mix together, so the paint mixes very really well. Palette nice. I have two of them. They're really good. They come different sizes. These came from Blick by a company called Reeves. There's also a Blick brand, Blick's brand of these as well. So palette knives are always good to have for mixing. And you can also use palette knives on the painting itself to get different like strokes or different textures you want from the palette knife. So using a regular brush, you can use a palette knife as a brush. It's good to know that. Speaking of brushes, these are oil paint brushes. Now oil paint brushes are not like acrylics and not like woke up, but they're a little more denser. So the brush, the hair is a little more thicker, a little more denser than acrylic paint brushes. But really good. I used one last night. This is what I used last night. But I have a bunch of these. These are the ones company I usually use, the World Link and Nickel. So I love these from Michael as well. I have a bunch of brushes, I love them. And let's see, and to use oil paint, you have to use mediums. Mediums help oil paint become thinner and able to use easier on a palette. Because oil paint itself is very thick. So you need to water it down or make it thinner so you use paint with. And I use the Winston Newton. There's a liquid, liquid um, media. This is really good. It dries fast because oil paints take months and months to dry. So you need something if you want to wait that long or you don't. So you need something to help it dry faster. And all some mediums have different reasons to do that. Some dry faster, some don't. This one has helped the painting dry faster. So I have to wait three, four months for paint to dry. And it's very liquid in here. We use this well. So it works. And let's see, I have Turpentine. Toy. Turpentine toy is like Turpentine. It's a paint cleaner. It's what it cleans oil paint off of brushes. 
and it is also a paint thinner for oil paints. Very good. It's the toughest of this book chemical, so you have this be careful. It's a dangerous warning on this thing, so be careful when you use this stuff. I suggest if you can use the turpentoid, put it in a jar like this. This is from last night. Keep it in here so when you want to clean your brush, you just switch it around in here. You keep it safe and clean so you just keep opening the jar of this stuff. And then usually when I clean my brushes with the turpentoid, I, use, I start using the Master Cleanse, Master Cleaner, sorry, Master Brush Cleaner Preservative as well, along with turpentoid, and it works really well. This is what I did with this brush last night. This was almost blue, and I looked at it. It's much, it was dark blue. It's, much, it's getting there, but it's so much better. I, I just purchased this, so it's, just, it's not fully down yet, but I'm using it, and it's really good. And also, to get all these paints, you need a palette. Now, a lot of people have been using glass palettes lately. So, I'm using that, that thing, this is a new thing, or a better than, uh, than um, other kind of palettes. And I like the idea of a glass palette, but if I look them up online, they're expensive. Like, they go from like $30, $40, depending on the size. So, I decided to make my own glass palette. I thought about this in Instagram photo I put up a few weeks ago. I'll tell you how to do this. So, let's just say, first of all, this is my glass palette, see? It's a piece of glass, some piece of glass. Tuxy glass, real glass, you can show me one too. The glass. This is from a photo picture, a photo frame. All you can do is take a photo frame, remove the actual photo the frame itself and the paper that comes with the frame, and there's a, and there's a palette. You can use the glass from frames to use these palettes. It's easy, cheap, inexpensive, and so easy to do, and it's great. And they clean well as well. So easy. Or you need a picture frame that you don't want to use. Not to make one, but this is normal. This is 9 by 12. So, good picture frames are good for glass palettes. Okay, so those are all the supplies. These are the kit, the book, and everything. Now we're going to get into actually using the paint. So, I'm going to show you how the paints look and we're going to do a comparison of all of them and so how to use the liquid medium as well. So, let's get into that. Okay, so let's get into using some of these paints. This is going to be a fun part. Okay, so we'll use a most of the paper already. We'll use a booklet in here because there's a ton of paper in the booklet. I said I started this before. I started doing it last night. So this my simple last night. With the blue and ton yellow, but mixed with green, little green. So it got together. But the blue looks great, right? And it's already dry. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Okay. Here's the paper. Move that way. Paper goes there. Okay. So paper. Now we need to put the paint on our palette. And take it there with it. Now before you put the paint on the palette, you want to get your medium ready. Use your medium. That means liquid original medium. You put it pour a little on the palette itself. Now this stuff is very fluid, so it comes off fast. I hope I don't get too much on here. So this is a small jar, but that's coming kind of much bigger jars than this. And this small jar is like six dollars a bigger one is much more but i'm done just trying the first time to see how it works so i'm gonna pour a little bit last time put like pour too much out let's just see oh there we go i'm pour good out. okay okay see there we go see that's how it looks like rubber cement and glue a little bit it's thick like glue it's kind of like rubber cement a little bit let me show you a little closer See, it looks like it looks like rubber cement a little bit. Okay, so there is our liquid original. So let's take a color paint. Let's take just like a red. This is the red. These are the Winston Newton oil paints. They come in a bigger jar, a bigger tube as well. This is that. This is a little kit from the smaller ones. So we're gonna take out all this. Now, see, this is by itself oil paint is thick. See how thick that is. It's really thick. That's why you have me mediums to help it thin out to, so you can use it better. So you just take a little bit and you put it next to the liquid medium just like that. And then you can use a palette that works. in. So you take your palette knife just like this and you mix them together. And automatically it becomes thin so you can paint. Mix it really well so there's little lumps and the thickness goes away. Put a little more you need to in. 
See, and now it's thin just like that. See, and it's a pretty red. I used the blue last night and yellow and did the same thing. Okay, so there, that's the red with medium hit and see how thin that is. Now I'm gonna take a paintbrush. Take my paintbrush. We're gonna dip it in the paint. Like that. Get our paper. Get the paper. Now see how thin, look at this. See how thin that is? I need to lot of brush and it's, and it's really thin. It, it has the consistency of acrylic paint or watercolor, but it's really thin. See? That's really cool. That's great. See? The easy that was, all you can do. Now you can add more you want to, you can add more colors, you can add more look you can add more uh, medium to make it thinner. But this is really good. Do this two together. See? That's great, right? Isn't that wonderful? So that's what I'm showing you. It symbols that. Okay. So that we did for symbols. See how thin that was? Because open by itself it's so thick. Like let me show you an example. Like take the red again. Here take the red. And we're gonna take it and put just by itself in the paper and show you how thick it is. Like this is how thick. See how thick that is? That's really thick. That's without medium. And this is and like painless and painless. It's easier, but it's so thick. If you want the consistency, that's fine. But mediums make it a lot thinner. Like that's with the medium, this is without. It's thick. But it's not so thick, but it's really good. See? It's darker too. The medium with the acrylic, because the, sorry, the medium makes it thinner. It's not too bad. It's just really thick. So I see. Okay. So that is how oil paint works with medium, mediums. It's really good. I love it. So it's a lot. Now, when you're done painting, oh, before you, know, before you clean up our brushes or anything. Now, so when we talk about drying, usually um, oil paints take months to dry. And that's something we don't have much time to do in that. So some of you need to dry fast. So this, my blue thing that I had before, so before, that dried in two days. This would dry in two days. I know this would dry in two days, but this would take a little longer because it doesn't have the medium in it. The medium is a speed drying medium, so it will make it dry faster, but this one doesn't have it, so it's going to take a little, little longer. But when you buy me, look for a speed, it wants to dry faster. Look for a speed drying, speed drying um, mediums. We got half the time because my one did it in two days, and that's great. Okay, so now I'm done painting, we're going to clean brushes off. As I said before, Turning toy, which is like turpentine, and clean off your brushes. So I used it little last night in this little jar here. So this is what I'm going to do. I have a little cloth there. I'm going to wipe, wipe off the excess paint off the jar of the brush. Just roll it off and like that. Then I'm going to take my turpentine toy that's in this little jar. Keep it lit on your jar because stuff is like chemical. You don't want it to spill or like smell. I, don't, I really haven't smelled it yet. Whoops. Yeah, it's it's not good. Yeah, okay. I just know that it. it's not really good. Anyway, <laughs> I smell everything. So push it around in your paint and your turn toy just like this. Push it around, push it around, push it down. See, it's just coming off soon. See, it's starting to come off. Push it all the way around. Push it. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Okay, so you got some of it off like that. Well, I usually go up to like the bathrooms of it and I use the brush cleaner, master brush cleanser like this. And after I put a little turpentine, I put a little turpentine on it. So, so little turpentine on it, I usually take master cleanser and squish it around in there. You know, mush with my fingers around, like squish more in there, push back back and forth between turpentine and the cleanser, and it really works. So that's how I clean my brushes when it comes to oil paint. Same thing with palette and with a palette knife. I just wipe the excess off. This is use these palettes, this is metal, so it will come right off. But I'll still you know give it some trim and toy a little bit and clean off a little more. So it's still clean. See? Pretty good, right? That's simple. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed 
learning about oil paints because this is my first time doing it. I think I did an okay job. I'm I'm rookie at this, but I think I'm good at it. I think I did good at it. Um, so thank you for watching. I will link all the information in this video below. The kit no longer exists because like Clarence no more. It was a Clarence, so it's no more available for sale. But I will link other oil paints by Winston Newton uh, in the description box below. So you can go out and check them out. Child oil paint for yourself. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.